No matter where we are, how we got started, there are people that have been influential in our lives to help kind of mold us. Your story, I mean, you got in a car. It's not like you went and got on an airplane and flew up here. You drove a car to the, to the States and to the Charlotte area. Was there someone there that helped you along the way? Well, I didn't know how I had to do things or, or English. The very first time I, I moved to Charlotte when I drove my only car and all over from Mexico to the U.S., I didn't know anyone in racing. It was, it was a big gamble. Yeah, so one of those friends, I think one of the first, his nickname, Walla, that uh, kind of helped you, not just with the racing, but as you pointed out, you didn't know English either. Yeah, and obviously Walla, he was one of my teachers back then. I'm not kidding you, he was coming every day with something like this. He say, Daniel, what, what, how do you feel about the race? Tell me about the race. You just won the race, and I had to improvise with him. Hey, look know? at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? Yes, yes. You just have to do it again. Now I can uh, speak back can, to you. Can you talk to me, Daniel? How was that finish? Yeah, I kick everyone's butt this yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> so what was that like? I mean, you had a, a young man here that didn't know a lot about the type cars to start with, and communication is a big part of becoming a better driver. It's a huge gap. And in my world, I was just trying to close that gap. So, Daniel, tell me about your car. Well, the car right now is pretty good. We got X-Team Racing in. It's a little diversity deal. <laughs> I was trying to make it normal, not so shocking to have someone just come up, stick something, and ask a question, because that's what happens out in the real world. Shake your head if you know what I do. I actually, uh, I got most of that. I did. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> he said he's going to win. I heard that much. Everybody could see the talent that he had but he was his worst critic. Drivers always are. <laughs> yes. You know, I, I, feel like, I feel like at the time when I actually I met Walla, I was, I was more worried about the English part than the driving part. I remember that a lot of people back in Mexico, they used to tell me, hey, Daniel, just make sure you don't lose your career because you don't know English. Daniel Suarez, he will be the first ever international champion in NASCAR. I don't think I got to speak English right now, man. I'm, I'm just warless. How much pride does it bring to you to watch him as he goes through his career? He wins the Xfinity Championship, and now he's an outstanding cup driver. It brings a lot. Um, as a crew member myself, excuse, excuse me, it's our job to make them reach their goal and expectations on and off the track. So being able to do that, that's what we're here for. Yeah, and could you imagine not running into someone like why and that helped direct you through all of this? You know, I'm the kind of guy that when, when you are making it to the top, a lot of people want to be your friend, but what it means to me a lot is the people that give you the hand when you were struggling and, and while I was, was one of those guys. Hey Motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.